Albania, once among the most isolated, secretive states in Eastern Europe, now a country in transition. The latest chapter in the country's progress is the national team's historic qualification for Euro 2016 in France. It's an unbelievably good feeling. Reaching a major tournament with the national team has always been a dream of mine. Ever since I was a boy just starting to play football. So to have achieved that is very satisfying. It's something amazing for Albanians all over the world. We've achieved something that's never been done before. And it's a story that will never be forgotten. This achievement is hugely important for the national team, not just because it's the first time that such a feat has been accomplished, but also because we now have the chance to show our country and the whole world what we are capable of and the great things that we can go on to achieve. For a country that's been on the fringe through its footballing history, earning a place in Europe's elite is an incredible achievement. For so long the victim of its turbulent political climate, Albania's only international success was winning the now obsolete Balkan Cup in 1946. But a new approach has helped the national team become an unexpected source of pride. Many things have changed in Albania. Today we have a different organisation and a much better management in place for the national team. A lot of Albanians live abroad and we've taken advantage of this by having the children of these immigrants make themselves available for selection. We have organised events outside of the country to recruit these talents so that they can play for Albania. Searching for eligible players has been key to the national team's progress. The emergence of a new generation of talent typifies a renewed spirit brought in by Italian head coach Gianni De Biasi. In life, only if you truly believe you can do something are you likely to accomplish it. If you lack faith or think that achieving something is impossible, you'll never achieve it. I don't think that anyone ever dreamt that Albania would qualify, but we succeeded, thanks to the talent of our team and the unity that has been built within the group. From the first day that Di Biazzi arrived as coach, he brought a new enthusiasm to our team. He brought in young players and created a strong squad. He changed the mindset of the footballers as well as that of the Albanian people who support the national team. With his professionalism and his experience, he turned us into a solid team capable of competing in the European Championship. After qualifying for their first major tournament, the team returned home to a welcome, befitting champions. The Prime Minister was there to greet us. It was an amazing scene. At least 20,000 people were there to celebrate the return of these guys that brought Albania so much pleasure. Our love for our country is the main reason we endure so much and why we give everything for the national team. We do it to bring happiness to the people and I believe that with this achievement, that's exactly what we've done. Not everyone that has supported us has been a football lover, but they love sport and they love Albania. So they see the national team as a symbol of the country. I have achieved some success in my career, but this is my greatest achievement because of what's been done for a whole nation. It's not like doing something for a club, it's doing something for a whole country. And more important than the result, 
is the way we've managed to bring together the Albanian people who've been caught up in so many political upheavals. So for me, this has been the victory for the people who have been united under one flag. And that's the most important thing. And now the country can dream of an even brighter future. Albanian football has made progress and I'm sure it will make even more. We've laid strong foundations and I'm very confident that we have a positive future in football, not only for the national team, but for our domestic game as well.